Hey guys, welcome back to more Spider-Man for Frostback TV. I am Demon Tech as always, and I gotta say I really love this game so far, so let's get right back into it. When did Mix become Italian? I've no idea, but I'm still glad to mix these fries. Totally. Best in the city. So, how's the grind at the Bugle? Hmm. Well... Yeah, well, I just got an all-caps text from Robbie about my so-called antics tonight. So it looks like I'll be meeting with a legal team. Again. Uh, as soon as he reads the article you're gonna write, guaranteed promotion. So, creepy mask, guys. What's your take? Just another night in the city. What's your take? I feel like there's a bigger story there. Let's not make this all about business. How's, how's it going with you? Did, did you get that promotion? No, but we're on the cusp of something really big. You know Oscorp would hire you in a heartbeat, right? One phone call to hair. Sure, but... Dr. Octavius' work will help millions. I'm, I'm right where I want to be, right where I should be. Almost sounds like it's more important than your other job. I've never heard you talk like that before. A lot can change in six months. Why did you ask me here, Pete? You know, just, uh, just dinner between friends. Friends? Is that what we are? Well, maybe we could be, you know, if, if that's what you wanted. <laughs> There's a lot of baggage here. Yeah, sure, but is that so bad? I mean, baggage can carry good things too, like uh, like money and uh, keys, and raspberry lip balm. <laughs> what? Do you remember why we broke up? This is a trick question, isn't it? <laughs> That's why. <laughs> right there. Saved by the siren. Talk to you later. Go. Cool. Because every time I want to say something important, you run out the fucking door. <laughs> Love seeing you two together again. You always were my favorites. You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> really? Does he really have to make a cameo in everything that has Marvel's name on it? I mean, not that I'm against it. It's really cool, but... Come on. Wait, I thought I was supposed to be following a... Hey, it's me. What's with the units heading down third? Looks like our old friend Herman Schultz is at it again. Shocker. Didn't he just get paroled? Yeah, well, I guess it didn't take. No worries. Herman's just a big cupcake. I'll have him back in Rikers by bedtime. How does someone like Just Shocker get paroled? After saving her from mass criminals. And now I'm going to go beat up a maniac who uses shockwaves to rob people. What a perfectly normal life you have, Peter Parker. Yep. Perfectly normal. This thing's a long ways away. Yeah, this city's beautiful. Yep, here's Times Square. Peter, I just want to make sure you haven't left any equipment you've built for your friend around the lab. It's no bother to me, but if the Grand Committee stops by again. Don't worry, Doc. I make a point not to leave anything there. But I know my friend appreciates you looking out for him. There's a lot of people who don't like him very much. That buffoon. Jameson and his audience of sheep, please. The people who do great things in this world are those who don't let bullies like him stand in their way. People like us. You said a mouthful, Doc. Take care. I feel like he won't feel that way about him soon enough. I really hope this is not an origin story for Doc Ock. All units advised, a vehicle pursuit is in progress. Location is north of Houston. Over. Wonder if Doc Connors has transformed into the lizard yet at this point. I feel like the timeline is really messed up in this game though. So who knows? Because Doc Ock should already be who he is instead of a scientist. So I remember correctly, Doc Ock is one of the earlier Spider-Man villains. 
I said Venom. <laughs> I think of Spider-Man villains, and I think Venom. Hi, Herman. Seriously. Herman. Give it up. You're never gonna catch me. That's what you said last time. I don't wanna hurt you. You'll just pull me down. Wow, that's considerate. For Herman, why do you care? Actually, I don't. Just trying to make polite conversation. I'm done talking. But this <laughs> could be so much more rewarding if we connected on an emotional level. <laughs> what? Wait, I forgot. You don't have emotions. Gotcha. Gotcha. Now let's talk. I said I'm done talking. Noted. Honestly, Herman, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move. I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone, or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice. Oh, man. Ow, what the hell was that? Come back here. I just want a hug. Ah, what the? How do I keep getting hit by that? It's really getting annoying though. Ah. Ow. I need to keep up. I'm trying. He keeps shooting me. Still got him, I don't know how. You know what, Herman? You have like zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? Maybe later. <laughs> Go ahead, fire, I dare you. Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect <laughs> on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Really? She uses you? That's the nicest thing it she can like say? I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah. yeah he was bit. unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Uh -oh. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah, whenever, whatever. So what would you like to me to call you? Cool. She said I could call her whatever. All right, let's unlock some more map. And these really, really basic puzzles. Because, you know. That was so easy. 
Hey, look, more random open world garbage. And I'm here. Oh, crap. Almost <laughs> morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. <laughs> Trying to figure out, do they have like... Do they have a day-night cycle in this game, or does it just go based on missions, I wonder? Can't really tell. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. Uh, right. how do we go up there? Is there stairs around here anywhere? I don't see any. Where the stairs be? Can they use these stairs? Uh, in here? Uh, I don't see any signs that say stairs. No, still none. Feast store. What the hell is that? These people don't have any money. Really wish she could walk. Oh yeah, he can walk faster. I've been complaining about it this whole time and I actually can. Just haven't been pressing the button. Uh, where's his office? I found more stairs. Ah, this is probably his office. Peter. I do for you. I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. <laughs> Let's see what you have. Yeah, that's like every other degree in the country. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. Hmm. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? Uh, I don't know. Why take the risk? Hmm. The, the interesting thing about Martin Lee and Mr. Negative is Martin Lee had no idea that he was Mr. Negative in the comics. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. Yeah, let's get out of here. I wonder if they if they didn't follow that and he actually knows that he's Mr. Negative in this one. Yeah, sorry for the spoilers, guys. Uh, but if you don't know Spider-Man well enough to know he's Mr. Negative, I'm sorry. It's well documented, though. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey work out in the city. <laughs> Peter with the lab coat on. I bet he always wonders why he comes in through the roof. How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do? 
and punches you in the face. Oh wait, no, that's Wolfenstein. Yes. Crushes it. <laughs> hey, hey, what do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. What? Stop that right now! The hell are this you talking is about? sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The hell? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... But I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where uh, you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. I see what no he's doing. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work in a secure environment at Oscorp. <laughs> you always were the smartest guy in the room. Still is. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. Just go to Oscorp. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. All right, research station. What is this? Harry left me a message about these before he left for you. Pete, hey, I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is too. Well, it's not gonna pay the bills, but it sounds like it means a lot to him. I'll do what I can to help. Okay. That's where the research tokens are. Okay, I thought it was the other things. Huh. Okay. What are we doing? I've got a couple stations measuring air pollution. The idea is to catch the, oh, what's the word, contaminants before they reach toxic levels. Between you and me, I think Oscorp wants this to fail because it might show they're polluting. The amount of polycyclic hydrocarbons in the air is way too high and rising. If it keeps getting worse, people could die. Particles okay. are concentrating in trouble spots, like mini clouds of smog. I'll swing through them and get samples, then trace them to the source. Okay. Right. Nasty as they are, I gotta swing right through those clouds. For these clouds to be visible to the naked eye, the level of toxins must be up there. And gotcha! I'm getting some good stuff. Well, good samples of bad stuff, anyway. <coughs> Got it. <coughs> oh, 
Oh! Ah. Feels like I'm breathing from a tailpipe. <laughs> yeah. An interesting side mission. This is not what I expected from the research station stuff. Be freaking these people out. Uh, what else is new? Huh. The toxins coming from two types of cars and a faulty smokestack. I better get photos. Smokestack picture I ever took. <laughs> the only smokestack picture I ever took. actually perfect but whatever great light on that one the department of environmental protection will take it from here maybe i should make a green spider costume for earth Day. well harry station just stopped the public health crisis oscorp's gonna have a hard time arguing it's not useful Shocker has escaped, and now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. What happened? I thought he was behind bars. He was, but one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I what? knew Shocker was working for someone. What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn. Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Oh, well, that's creepy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank. Interesting. His eyes were glowing. I wonder if it was the same glow from the, the inner demons. Or if it's somebody else controlling them. Peter, I've been looking into the demons. Sounds like they've quietly established a power base in the vacuum left by Fisk. A vacuum I created by putting Fisk away. Jameson was right. The demons are my fault. But what were you supposed to do? Let Fisk keep godfathering? Are you okay? You sound even mopier than usual. I think I might have just lost my job. The city, Norman actually, pulled our funding. Oh, Pete. I'm sorry. If Harry were here, he could talk some sense into his dad. You'll find another source. Your work's too important. Thanks, MJ. Talk to you soon. All right, let's go time. And I swung right into a wall. <laughs> that didn't look as cool as I wanted it to. Herman, long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. Yeah, Herman. <laughs> Oops, guess we're stuck in here for a while. Want to play 20 questions? No? How about we thumb rush? Okay, face punch it is. Ow. That sounded like it hurt. Your gauntlets are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You want to fight? Let's fight! Man, can't wait to put you back behind bars so we can talk science. Remember our first fight? Me so young and stupid, you just stupid. Ow. 
Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics for how much talking one should do? And who determines the ideal ratio of talking versus not talking? Also, how would you measure? Words per minute? Syllables Ow. per second? Or is it more about how many words one uses to express a single thought? It's also subjective. If you ask me, some people don't talk enough. Think about who their mysterious overlord is. The person they're working for, that kind of thing. Shut up! Okay, now I can do some real damage. Why are uh -oh. you doing this, Herman? Because if I don't, they'll kill me! Ow. And I'm... anymore you're lucky you found actual cash if you really want to rob bank try day trade it's all the rage wait wait wait, wait. Oh, no. oh come on herman tell me who you're working for i can help you cut a deal if i talk i'm dead they made that very clear didn't go as planned. Couldn't really get out of the way of it that time though. killed him <laughs> but you know comic book he's not dead no longer a pain in my ass though 
Shock and awe. Man, he was scared and desperate. These demons are everywhere all of a sudden. Okay, Yuri. Shocker's all yours now. Good work. We have a special cell waiting for him at the raft. We'll make sure he stays behind bars this time. Also, I'm pretty sure he was working for the Demon Gang. Demon Gang? <sighs> Sounds like a Daily Bugle headline. Hey, the Bugle is a perfectly fine news organization. Not sure I'd call it news. Well, I've heard they have some really good reporters. Anyway, have you had any more reports on Demon... Uh, uh, guys with masks? Let me get back to you. By the way, how much of a mess did you make inside that bank? You probably don't want to know. <laughs> Shouldn't have asked. It's no longer a bank. 